let's talk about the cross product. This is different than the dot product that we looked earlier. Um, the dot product, for example, is a scalar and the cross product actually results in another vector. Um, so to start with, let me, let me talk about the uh, couple of characteristics of the cross product. So the first thing I wanna say is take this as something, take this video as just a uh, explanation of a, a, a mathematical uh, calculation. This, we're not gonna talk a lot about how this means in terms of the statics quite yet. We're gonna look at that in the next video. So when we look at the cross product, we, we see uh, that this is, um, an operation uh, between two vectors, right? And let's say let's say we have vectors A and B. And um, what we see is that um, the resultant of this those pro of this uh, cross product, is going to be another vector, right? So the cross product A cross B is a vector, right? Uh, and here is the symbol we're going to use for the cross product, is that X. The other thing we're going to see is that the um, magnitude of this vector is equal to the parallelogram defined by A and B. And let me explain that in a second. So let's say that we have uh, in two Axis, we have our x axis, our y axis, and we have vector a in here, vector b, let's say that is here. So we can have this parallelogram defined by those two, uh, by those two vectors, and um, the area, the area in here is the magnitude of that um, uh, of that cross product okay so that's that's another characteristic right and then the direction the direction is given by the right hand rule all right and this is something that I'm going to refer you to uh, another video that you see in the class to the, for the definition of the right hand rule. Um, look at that video, see if those um, uh, definitions make sense. In 2D, uh, that video is gonna be specifically for 3D. Now in 2D, there are different ways that I like to explain this. If we have a, uh, a a, a product like this, A cross B, and if you go from the first vector towards the second vector, and you're going counterclockwise, that means that the cross product is going to be out of the plane, I mean out of the plane, so going up uh, with respect to your screen right now. If it's the other way around, Right? If it's B cross A, that means that the direction of that vector is going to be towards towards the screen. Um, right? And also, so A cross B is perpendicular to the plane. by um, 
A and B. It's perpendicular. So it's a vector guy either coming in or out at this particular location. Uh, whether it's coming out of your screen towards you it is given by the right hand rule and as, as I said again uh, this right hand rule is another video that you can take a look at uh, that defines it a little bit better all right so how do you how do we calculate it so when we do the calculations for this cross product and this is uh, perhaps something that I want you to pay attention in terms of this video is this a cross b or the cross product of a and b is going to be equal to the determinant and if this doesn't make any sense don't worry about it i'm going to explain this in a minute of the following matrix a j k a x e, uh, a y sorry, that's a y a z sorry about that bx by and bz and to learn about determinants and matrices and all of that there is a really useful class that is called linear algebra um, if you that's not an expectation for you to have taken that class for statics so what I'm gonna do is basically write down the equation that is gonna help us calculate that cross product. So it's gonna be AY times BZ minus AZ BY I minus A x b z minus a z b x j plus a x b y minus a y b x k so in a nutshell, if you can if you can write this down somewhere that you have it handy, you should be able to calculate uh, that, that that cross product. So again, the concept is that the cross product is going to be another vector that is going to be perpendicular to that plane defined by A and B. The magnitude is defined by the area of this parallelogram, and the direction is uh, defined by the right hand rule. And um, and then how to calculate it? It's easy to calculate in three dimensions by following either the determinant of this matrix or by looking at this equation and, and having this equation handy. So let's do a quick example. So in this example, what we're gonna do is calculate the cross product of two vectors. So I've written it here and we have um, a plus B where A is 3i minus 4j plus k and B is AJ. So what we know is that we need to calculate this determinant. So A plus B is going to be equal to I, J, K. All right, the first vector that I'm going to need to put in here is the A vector. So I have my 3 minus 4 and 1. And then my B vector is going to be 0, 8, and 0. And uh, it's important to know that the order of the vectors is important. So A cross B is not the same as B cross A. So that's that's important. All right, we want to calculate this. We've got my next page here. So this 
A cross B is going to be equal to minus 4, 0, minus 1, times 8, I, minus 3, times 0, minus 1, times 0, J plus 3 times 8 minus minus 4 times 0. Okay, so all I did there is basically ap apply the equation that I wrote uh, back in the, in the previous page. Okay, so, so the equation that I wrote right there. That's it. This equation over here. All right, very good. So when I do these calculations, I find that that is going to give me equal to minus 8i plus 24k. In this case, since I'm just doing this as a math problem, I'm going to have no units for now. No units were given for the vectors. Uh, when you're looking at uh, forces and distances and things like that, the units are going to be the multiplication of the units of the other two vectors. Uh, one of the units that we're going to look at is uh, forces times distance. We're going to see that as a, when we define moments. Uh, so in most cases for statics, we're going to see that the cross product of a force and a, and a position vector give you units of force times distance. Um, that's it. That's it. The idea for cross product.